Hi guys, Richard. Richard. Whoa, Whoa, okay. okay, okay, okay. I forgot, I gotta turn that off. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> let's do that again. Hey guys, Victory Fist here. Uh, just gonna play some For Honor. A lot of people have been asking me what it's like, and I figured, why don't I just bloody well show you, eh? Cool. All right, so here we are on a matchmaking screen. See a lot of these. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of these. Uh, you get kicked from games a lot, so you spend more time in loading screens than in the game at this point um as long as you're playing with friends if you're not playing with friends it generally goes pretty smooth but you know the people you want to play with that's where they hit you i should probably point out oh wait okay god damn it <laughs> should i leave all those in fuck it let's leave all those in <laughs> so i should point out that when you get kicked it's not you know other players kicking you or a host kicking you or anything like that it's the game just disconnecting from the server uh, a lot of that going on. I, I guess it's lucky that this was a beta test. Otherwise, if it comes out like this, you know, tomorrow, which is when it's coming out, and this was recorded on the weekend, um, you know, it's a couple of days ago, uh, there's going to be big trouble for Ubisoft. I don't think the public's going to receive it too damn well in this current state. So what is For Honor? It's a um, medieval battle game. So you can play as Vikings, Knights, or Samurais. I play as a Viking, obviously, because... Why would you play as the others? And uh, you just go around murdering each other. It's got some really slick animations and things, and it's a real shame that the connections are as bad as they are. So here's the character select screen. Uh, I decided to play as the Warlord out of the nine characters that you can choose from, mostly because it's a Viking and historically accurate. Oh, can I even say that correctly? Historically accurate. Um, because... Um, Turns out that, yeah, Vikings didn't really use the two, big two-handers and stuff that much. You needed a shield if you were to, you know, go into battle because you didn't have plate armor in that situation. But whereas these other guys with plate armor using shields, what's that all about? Apparently that's not historically accurate either. So, you know, we've all been fed garbage our entire lives in terms of medieval warfare, and it's culminated in this game. So, uh, it's not a bad thing, I guess. We're going to be fighting some samurais and stuff. Fingers crossed uh, they don't murder all of my friends. Because uh, this is elimination mode, so it's like, die, you don't get to respawn unless someone picks you up. And there's bonuses around the map and that sort of thing, like uh, power-ups, like extra damage or extra speed or extra health, which you don't get in the other game modes. This was added to the open beta. It wasn't in the closed beta that I took in the week before. But I think it's got a, it's going to be one of the more, it's a more arcadey feel to it. And I think, I don't know if that means it's got more or less legs in multiplayer, to be honest. It's going to appeal to different people, I guess. Right. Round one. <laughs> and pretty much all these games are played best of five, unless it's uh, Dominion. So, you know, win three rounds and you can, you can win. And here I am, getting my ass handed to me by this guy. Um, but I, then I realized that, hey, I could just knock him off the edge. Why don't we just do that? It's the honorable thing to do, right? No, it's not. <laughs> it's really not. Um, there is a bit of etiquette in this game. You're not really supposed to push people off, like, if you want to play honorably. But, stuff it. I don't... <laughs> I mean, when it comes down to it, it's a freaking game, and people are going to troll, so you, you may as well be the troll, instead of the trolled. Um, right now, I'm just trying to find teammates to help, because, well, help, because I'm a bit munted. Teaming up with your teammates is often the best way to go. I, use, I could use this um, gate there to squash people, but no one came, comes by, no one's silly enough to go in there, apart from me, like I do right now, but benefit is I just got increased attack damage which is badass I probably should have grabbed that shield as well but you know oh crap okay so that means that all three of my teammates are dead and only one of the enemies are dead uh, <laughs> so it's 1v3 now and um, this is the sort of point where I kind of start pulling myself I'm like can I pick someone up probably not I'll just run away for a bit and hope that they uh Fall off of my sword like that. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so worried. Um, <laughs> I honestly can't tell if I'm good at this game or if they're really bad or if that was just a fluke. Probably a combination of those last two, though. Yeah. 
But uh, hey, I did well enough for them to start dropping like flies. Look, this guy. What a wuss. Disconnects from the game because I just smashed them. Or, you know, it's that customary game crashing that I was talking about earlier. It's probably that. That's my... <laughs> well, yeah, no, see? Definitely that. Um... <laughs> This is what it looks like when it starts crashing. So I, I can't move properly right now. And then um, off we go. Error. Sweet. So yeah, probably a good idea to not buy this game straight away until like you hear otherwise about the servers being sorted out. Because like I said, this was recorded two days ago and the game comes out tomorrow. That's, I mean, good on them for doing some beta testing, but... Yeah, they're not far enough along yet, are they? Are they? Well, cheers, thanks for watching. Um, like the video and all that jazz, I guess. If you're into that sort of thing. Why am I being so down about this? Fucking subscribe, guys. That'd be awesome. Cheers. Bye.